have no video. Apologies for not posting too many videos this week. I've been sick and still recovering. But I wanted to get some news out. If you haven't been watching some of the other videos, uh, Funimation's been doing this big rollout riot this past week, and they've revealed a number of licenses. The biggest ones being Hitalia Axis Powers. Yes, congratulations, all of you, um, who've been big fans of it. Also licensed The Sacred Blacksmith, which is a very recent anime, actually. Furikuri, uh, including the original dub, so we'll be releasing that on Blu-ray. And then Hero Tales and Master of Martial Hearts, which are both less well-known anime that they kind of picked up as, as they went along. They also licensed a number of live-action movies, including Robo Geisha, uh, which is this sort of over-the-top live-action film, and a bunch of Shaw Brothers kung fu flicks, which is a pretty big deal. In Saturn News, they also revealed that the baseball anime Big Wind-Up has not sold very well at all, so they're not going to be picking up any more of Big Wind-Up. So what we've got is probably all we're going to get unless things change drastically you know, in, 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 in any time soon. Uh, Crunchyroll, however, announced they're simulcasting several new shows from the current winter 2010 Japanese anime season. So if you go to Crunchyroll, you can get Chubra, which is about middle school girls um, obsessing over underwear, Cobra the Animation, which is a revival of like an 80s action adventure thing, Durarara, which is the newest thing by the folks who made Bacano. It's basically very Bacano-like in a way, although it's set in modern times. Omori Himari, which I haven't had a ch chance to look at yet. Hanamaru Kindergarten, which is about a bunch of kindergarten-age kids running around, very cute, but done by Gainax, uh, and directed by the director of Full Metal Alchemist and Gundam Double O. So I don't know how that's going to turn out. Uh, they're also simulcasting Sora no Oto, which is basically k uh, in military uniforms. It's so basically a fantasy world, girls in military uniforms, but it's basically, it's like the k cast in there, basically. Anyway, so that's cool. Head over to Crunchyroll, standard um, idea. If you have a Crunchyroll membership, you get all the, the, the shows within a day of their Japanese release. If you don't have that, uh, that membership, you'll get it a week later. So, that's pretty cool. Speaking of new anime, there's going to be a new anime season of the very odd, very shiny mecha series, Fafner. Fafner the Brilliant, uh, not, not the Brilliant Blue, uh, uh, Seven Skies, I think? Yeah, Fafner. Um, no one quite knows why, but they're going to be doing a new anime series, so cool. And it looks like the original cast will be coming back to, 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 to rebuild it, so, okay. Meanwhile, some live-action movie news. Head on over to beck-movie.jp for a sneak peek at the upcoming live-action adaptation of Beck. They put a teaser trailer up there. And it looks, I mean, the, the characters all look pretty much exactly right. And, of course, it uh, remains to be seen how well it'll look uh, compared to, um, you know, the anime or the, the manga. Meanwhile, over on AnimeNation.net, you can see a teaser of the upcoming Space Battleship Yamato live-action movie, which looks pretty awesome, as well as a teaser for the upcoming Gantz live-action movie. Who knows? All this stuff is still very much in the early stages, so uh, we, it, all that remains to be seen. Uh, there's also a new mecha anime being made in China. It's called Astro Plan. You can see it. And it looks kind of like the pilots fly Valkyries from Macross. And um, here's the space vessel that they fly on, which looks an awful lot like the Archangel from Gundam Seed. Um, plagiarism, maybe? I, I, don't, I don't know. So We'll see how that develops. Meanwhile, boys love fans. You'll soon have to shell out a bit more dough to see your man-on-man -man action. Tokyo Pop's BLU line, their blue line, will be uh, raising its prices from 13 US dollars to 15 dollars. That's Canadian 17 to $19, starting next month. However, they are going to be putting in more full-color pages, so that's nice. Um, but this follows a price increase a year ago, where they increased in price from $10 per volume. So it's, it's getting up there. Uh, some things will be ending soon, kind of the end of two eras. The incredibly long-running samurai epic manga Vagabond will end sometime in 2010. Its creator has said so on his website. Vagabond's finally going to be finished. It's been going on for, gosh, 15 years, something like that. A long time. Uh, not quite so long-running, but still very much beloved, Full Metal Panic, the author of those light novels, has announced that he's going to be, that he's actually working on the final novel right now, writing it as, as I say this. Um, so here's, here's seeing how it's going to turn out. Um, I've heard that Kyoto Animation, who did Fumofu and Second Raid, are, we've been kind of waiting for the light novels to end before they do 
um, you know, full full scale anime. Pure rumor, but that would be kind of nice that this is ending and they can make more anime. Who knows? Speaking of Kyoto Animation, though, um, the shrine is home to two of the characters from Lucky Star. And it's been a popular New Year's destination for Otaku several years running. And this past New Year's broke records. 450,000 people showed up at Washinomiya Shrine this past New Year's to offer their respect. Now, granted, Washinomiya Shrine is, I believe, Tokyo's oldest shrine. So it's big out there. It's just that it wasn't very popular. Lucky Star sort of got some attention. And then there have been news stories and so forth. So that kind of built up attention. You know, that, that, that's kind of how things go over there. You know, big big interest. But it's been going, you know, since Lucky Star came out, so that's cool. Uh, meanwhile, AKB48, if you've heard of them, um, all three of you, it's basically like the Morning Musume and the other super pop idol groups in Japan, but it was created as a more fan-friendly group. They're actually 48 members, they're spread out, they're easy to find, they, you know, make themselves very available. So that's cool. Um, they're proving to be a popular concept. Six different countries are now looking to spin off their own versions of that group using a similar model, you know, school uniform clothing, 48 members, um, making themselves just very available to the public, things like that. And one of the ideas of AKB48 is that they would, you know, they're, they're very available in Akihabara and they do a lot of, of events and they show up for fans and stuff like that. So they're, they're a bit easier to, to, to get than some of these, these big groups. Uh, finally, Kimi ni Tudoke, which is a recent uh, romantic comedy about a girl who she struggles because she looks like Sawako from The Ring, um, but it tries to be a romantic comedy. That's actually quite funny. Anyway, um, it's being turned into a live action movie, which is cool. Uh, seems fitting, really. I mean, it's basically based on a live action movie, movie premise as it is. So that's all the news fit to print this week. There have been some other things going on, but nothing really, really major. I mean, some. Companies starting some anime studios and things like that, and uh, there's gonna be a Hatsune Miku uh, DVD of, of, of like music videos, things like that. Um, but just little stuff, nothing that's actually panned out yet. So that's all the news. See you next time.